on paper it looks like a big lake, you know, right. but it's not. You can't mm -hmm. you can't go anywhere. So the the um, springs are flooded out. The forest is flooded out. The trees are still dying. Yeah. So this is um, a couple of. They're just showing where the, you know, the ramps are and stuff like that. Perfect. And this is if if the river was restored. They don't have Cannon Springs on here for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's um, talking <coughs> talking about other recreational possibilities. Oh yeah, there's so, so much potential here. See the little dash outline. Mm -hmm. um, the map that we're working on now to show um, what was, what is, and what could be. We're gonna have some something similar to that. Not. I mean, it's gonna be different. But look at proposed recreation facilities. Yeah. What happened? There's so much. Up to the Greenways. Yeah. 1997, we're talking about, oh, look at all these things we can do. But the, it just gets squashed. Yeah, it's so strange. It, it is very strange. Let's see, I think I got that one. Especially, you know, there's a, um, the UF was like two years ago, the university did an economic study. Yes, I read that one. Mm -hmm. Yes, it just, it just seems really clear that this would be a really incredible right. benefit mm -hmm. to the region. And bear habitat, like um, the bears are getting chased out. So if you, um, with more development, you know, yeah. and they see them over here in Hog Valley. This is Hog Valley over here. They see them all the time. So this, look how much more habitat they would have. Tons. You know, a lot. It would take so much stress off of um, like the suburban mm -hmm. areas. They don't know what to, they don't know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, well, so this, this shows where the river is and how, where it would connect right there. So interesting. Um, the locks are there and the spillway that is there, but um, the river was never blocked. Okay. So you can still go, you know, all the way down here to, mm -hmm. to uh, Silver Springs. Um, so here's Eureka. Robin Impoundment, Robin Pool, Robin Reservoir, there's a lot of different terms for yeah. it. Start, officially starts here mm -hmm. and comes up to here. Okay. But, I see. Um, you have to stay in the river. So even though this is flooded and it chases out um, all kinds of wildlife, during the drawdown down here, if you get out and walk on the banks, you see all kinds of wildlife footprints. It would oh, be a really yeah. good bear habitat, and FWC mm -hmm. uh, officer told me that. Um, so you have to stay in the river all the way till you get, here's Orange Creek, mm -hmm. till you get past Orange Creek, up around... See how the river's all still there? You have to stay in the river all the way here till you get up here. So this is where the guys go around, some women, um, with their bass boats, with the yeah. trolling motors, because there's stumps everywhere. And there's, there's, if you know the area really well when the water's up like it is now, there are some areas where, um, like if you know this area, you're not worried about trees being in the way, which, you know, they can be. Yeah. People do cut straight across here. Of course, airboats can go anywhere. Right, right. Well, thank and you. Draw down. Okay. So you can see how the river runs through here. Yes. So we are right now, we are right here, this little light spot here. Okay. And during the drawdown, this all drains out. I see. So when they do the drawdown, you'll drive down that that road over there you'll keep going mm -hmm. and that comes let's see where am I that comes right down here okay. so th this whole area will fill up with people parking I see so to get in the river to go anywhere you have to come out here and go down you know where that sign yeah where we took the picture was then you come over in here and you can go up into um, Blue Springs mm -hmm. is right here and that's one of the sites on that manatee survey. Yeah, you know, yes. the, I remember that. Yeah. A friend of mine, when he was a kid, his dad used to take him over there, and they'd watch the manatees oh, and wow. go swimming um, in Blue Springs. But now it just—I mean, you can't even tell where it is. Right. Um, unless you know. Know where it is. Exactly drawdown. where it is. Yeah. So during the drawdown, we come out and we come. We can come all, all the way down this way. Uh, here's Orange Creek. There's, um, I don't know if you know, Orange Creek comes up to Orange Lake and then Cross Creek and Lock Lusa. Okay. It's all over here. 
So Orange Creek comes down here. Um, this is so helpful because I was looking at Google Maps, like just the satellite view the mm -hmm. other day, and I appreciate having it all, you know, explained and pointed out. So Orange Creek ramp, when um, during the drawdown, you come down this road, off, it's off of this road here, 315. Um, when you before you get to uh, the intersection, you turn left, and that goes down to the temporary ramp, and that puts in right in the river, and. So people come down here, and they, they there's a lot of shoreline fishing. Um, and families, you know, they'll have cane poles and little fires, and yeah. and they have a great time with the water up. Here's the ramp here. There's no shoreline fishing. This whole area is flooded. Okay. So when the water's down, you have shoreline fishing right here, and then um, shoreline fishing here with it up. The only shoreline place to fish public is way down Eureka's way down that way there's one little floating ramp interesting I see so it's kind of like there's different opportunities mm -hmm. when it's down you know so the floodplain the nine like 9,500 acres of floodplain forest was all of this mm -hmm. and all of this lighter area here now they keep the water level during the drought and they keep it up so that this is still navigable so it doesn't go back down to the the original level still of stays course. up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when you'll see all the um, thousands and thousands of, of stumps hey, sticking up. The yes. stump you see a gator? There was a gator on the, on the ramp. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. So, um, so here's the dam here. Okay. And then here's the spillway. And then you can see it's the braided river, the Akawaha, mm -hmm. comes out here and it comes out at Wilaka. So for the manatees to get in here now, from the St. John's, they have to come through these locks. Yes. And then come down in here. And then and then they can go up. They've even gone through uh, Moss Bluff locks. So um, to get out, they have to come back out. Now when they have all these tournaments here, the Save Robin tournament and, mm -hmm. and uh, um, a lot of little clubs have tournaments here. They put in here, which is right here. A lot of them come out here, they lock out, and they fish in the river where they go to Crescent Lake. They go all over the place. Then they come back, lock back in, um, come back here, right here, mm -hmm. and weigh in their fish, you know, save Rodman. Yeah. Then they mm -hmm. let them go in Rodman. And um, the last um, um, extreme bass tournaments, their four top fish came from the river. Oh, but if yeah. you look at their Facebook page, not from the reservoir. They don't say where they're from. No, you know. yeah. Um, I was reading their newsletter the other day. Mm -hmm. So what? So if the um, river is restored, you can see it coming up here, and then this stays full, still has water in it during the drawdown. The river comes out right over here. See this little green area? Yes. So when they say partial restoration, take 2,000 feet of soil out of that dirt burn that would be right there. Oh, yeah. And then the river would continue to flow through and all the fish and the manatees and everything that used to migrate yeah. through, you know, could come back up all the way up to to Silver Springs. Absolutely. I just